Hillary Clinton arrived in Naypyidaw carrying the expectations of a new era. Only a few short months ago, it would have been unthinkable that the US's top diplomat would be flying into the capital of Myanmar, a city purpose-built by the generals who ruled the country for nearly six decades. But things are different now. It's good. Now we can do more. The Secretary of the State hasn't come to our country in over 50 years, so I'm glad she is visiting. We are not isolated from the world anymore. I think communication with Western countries and our country has totally changed. Talks between the Secretary of State and Myanmar's President Thein Sein will likely focus on hopes for the release of 500 remaining political prisoners, moves towards ceasefire agreements with ethnic groups and the country's by-elections, in which Myanmar's pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi has hinted she will run. On Friday, she will host Mrs Clinton at her lakeside home where she was kept under house arrest for 15 of the past 20 years. It's a significant time for Myanmar, which has long held China as its only ally. And so this was the moment that ended more than half a century of isolation from the West for Myanmar. For this visit of US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, the expectations are high. Many are looking for signs US and European sanctions against Myanmar will be scaled back and international financial expertise brought in to help lift two-thirds of the country out of poverty. The pace of change in Myanmar has been fast, but the country still has much to prove. Ella Callan, Al Jazeera, Naypyidaw.